I love studying uh, social history. I love social context. I remember, and I'm a product of the late 60s, early 70s. One of the things that came out of the late 60s and early 70s is jeans. Now, you have to know it is tough for me not to be up here in jeans. I mean, I just love jeans. I, I wear jeans. I'm in jeans all the time. And I, I just, today was tough. I thought, Independence Day, I'm going to be independent, right? Jeans. Well, jeans, ha- which is the epitome of independence in this nation 35 years ago. That was kind of the top thing of independence. Well, there's nothing independent about jeans at all. If you study, the, and I've, I'm kind of the idiots that study the history of, of fabrics and products, it came on to play with John Wayne, who was tired of wearing leather when he rode his horses in movies. He wanted something comfortable. So he took the stuff that coal miners and gold miners were using and inmates, and he brings jeans in. Then a guy named James Dean says, I don't want to wear regular pants. I'm going to do what John Wayne did and wears jeans. And then a guy named Marlon Brando wore jeans. Then a lady named Marilyn Monroe wore jeans. And then every president since then wears jeans. And you and I think we're independent because we wear jeans and a T-shirt. People long before us have done it. And it's an amazing thing. But we think we're independent. But the reality is we all imitate someone or something else. And John acknowledges that and says, who are you imitating? Are you imitating good, Gaius? Are you imitating evil, Diostrophes? You got two very good examples of how to do it and how not to do it. Choose which one you're going to imitate because you're going to imitate something. So you might as well imitate good. The Bible says, be imitators of me, Christ said, right? Be imitators of Christ. Be imitators of good. So don't think you are a rugged individual person. You are imitating. And young people, you're sitting there with your iPhones and things. You're imi- all of us are imitating someone. So just pick who you're going to imitate. And John says, imitate that which is good, and don't imitate that which is bad.